Hello and welcome to the Bamboo Labs 3D printer training. Part one is where we make a 3D model and export it as an STL. There are lots of ways to make 3D models. You could use Tinkercad if you're just getting started. You could use Fusion if you're wanting to make dimensionally accurate parts. And you could use Blender if you're wanting to make more organic sculptural shapes. Learning to get good at 3D modeling takes a long time and it is awesome and worth it. And it's not the topic of this video, so let's keep it simple. Open up a web browser and go to Tinkercad.com. Click sign up, create a personal account, and sign up with your email address. It's totally free, except that Autodesk will stalk you for the rest of your life. Excellent. Go ahead and create a new 3D design. Click on this little icon that says text and come on over onto your work plane and place your text somewhere. Then edit your text so that it is just a single character. I picked the letter D for Daniel. That's it for our very brief journey into 3D modeling. Click export and choose STL as the format, which stands for either stereolithography or standard triangle language or standard tessellation language. Nobody can seem to agree on what STL means. It's simply the format that all 3D printers love to say hello to. And it'll end up in your downloads folder. Now that you have a 3D model, let's go get our 3D slicer. What's a 3D slicer? Well, every 3D printer has its own slicer software that slices up your 3D model such that it can get squirted out of the hot end of the filament extruder. We're using the Bamboo X1 Carbon, so let's go get the Bamboo Studio slicer software. You're gonna wanna download and install this software onto your own computer. If you don't have a computer, use one in the makerspace. And if you don't know how to install software on your computer, ask someone for help. In this video, I wanna focus on the critical moment of the installation when you launch Bamboo Studio for the very first time. You're gonna pick North America as your location. You can skip the data collection awfulness and then accept all the defaults by clicking next and next and finish. And you can close this pesky little window. And then if you're thinking, great, I'm ready to start 3D printing, I know what to do. Hold on for one second and notice that the defaults leave you in a broken state. What am I talking about? Well, click new project and then look here at your default printer. It's the Bamboo Lab A1, but we're not using the A1. Look at the front of our printer. It's the X1 Carbon. And if you don't change this setting, everything you try to print will fail and the print head will slam into the sidewall of the mill, making a loud and destructive sound. So choose the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 0.4 nozzle printer. And then the plate type. We are using the awesome textured PEI plate, polyether imide. It's just the right amount of bumpy for good adhesion of your prints, and it's lower maintenance than the standard plate. When you step up to the real thing, make sure to keep the grease from your fingers off the plate. A greasy plate is is not gonna grab your prints effectively. Good, now your filament preset. We are using the Bamboo PLA Basic preset because we're gonna be printing PLA, polylactic acid. Go ahead and click this edit button and let's look at this softening temperature currently set to 45 degrees Celsius. For the material we're using, let's set it to 60 degrees. That'll be fine. And when you do, notice how it turns orange and this tumbling arrow shows up. This can seem a little ominous, but it's actually a nice user interface feature of the Bamboo Studio. Basically, you're being informed that you've made a change from the default. We changed from the default of 45 up to 60. If that change was a mistake, we've got an easy way to click that tumbling arrow and get back to the default. And come to your cooling tab and change your auxiliary part cooling fan, fan speed, down to 0%. That fan tends to cause initial prints to warp and peel off the print bed if it's blowing. So let's just shut it off for now. Good, this Bamboo Studio is all set up. So the next thing I want you to do is to quit Bamboo Studio. Not because we're done for the day, but because this will trigger the pop-up that lets you save these presets. And I want to do this now so that every additional future time that I open Bamboo Studio, it's all set up and ready to go as soon as it opens. 